Hello everyone, this is Dan Riley for Sports Talk. As baseball season gets underway with spring training, the Houston Astros have to respond to the allegations they deliberately stole signs last season. That credibility hit will be with them all season long, and if they don't win the whole thing, people will just assume they really must be just a bunch of overrated cheats. Time will tell us if that happens. But let me get to the point of this podcast. Baseball has a long history of cheating. I recall an ESPN.com article saying that, quote, cheating in baseball is simply a result of the nature of the game. Oh, that makes you real proud to be a baseball fan, now, doesn't it? If this is America's pastime, this should be a wake-up call. Guys using cork bats, stealing signs, or taking steroids is simply baseball's version of stock fraud, sabotaging a co-worker at the office, or a kid cheating on his SATs. In short, baseball's history of cheating is much more woven into American society than we'd like to admit. Heck, human society. It goes beyond saying that the Astros need consequences if they really did something, but what I'm getting at is that the problem here is that playing dirty in baseball is simply a pathetic reflection of modern life. It's not about playing fair. It's about getting what you want and not caring who you cheat to get your way. We all need to look around to take a look at that right now. Parents condoning dirty play by their kids in Little League. Some celebrity committing stock fraud to make a little extra money. Like Rudy Rudiger did. Or people willing to con others to make a quick buck. Stuff like this is everywhere now, and there's no end in sight. It's a shame. It really is. Look, it's just a dream for society to be a utopia. I get that. But it makes me laugh out loud when people complain about the Astros' sign-stealing. Politicians in both political parties here in the States steal signals, so to speak, while colleges make it too expensive to attend, cheating people out of the chance of an education, and others condone cheating others to get their own way by, say, at work. In that way, are we as a society really any better than the Houston Astros? Regardless of the punishment, that problem in baseball will persist. It's an ugly truth about life in pro baseball. What happened here is similar to the Giants stealing signals to help Bobby Thompson hit that home run that was called the shot heard round the world. Inspiring? Hardly. Pitchers throw brushback pitches when a batter sneaks a look at a catcher's signals. That's the only time I can condone something like that. And an event like this is a perverse reminder of why players have their own codes and why baseball suspends guys. At least pro sports holds people accountable, unlike other places. The next time you hear of a guy in the major leagues using too much tar on his bat, or a batter stealing signals, remember what you hear on the news nowadays. Yeah, there's a connection. Cheating is an unacceptable part of life, but it's there. The Astros are just a very public example. Life bleeds into sports and vice versa sometimes. Baseball is embarrassed. The city of Houston is embarrassed. And the families of these players on the Astros are embarrassed. This is a dark day for baseball. It just so happens this is an example of modern life playing out on a baseball diamond. The sad question is, is there really any going back? This is Dan Riley for Sports Talk. Thank you so much for tuning in, and so long.